An Indiana Super PAC says the state's election laws could be infringing on its First Amendment rights. Yeah, the Indiana Right to Life Victory Fund has brought a case against the Secretary of State. As Fox 59 State House reporter Hannah Adamson shows us, the state Supreme Court heard oral arguments in that case today. All the courts agree you can't limit corporate contributions to an independent expenditure only PAC. This statute does that. Council representing the Indiana Right to Life Victory Fund and private company Sarkis Tarzian Inc. asking the Indiana Supreme Court to clarify if current election code prohibits or limits how much corporations can give to super PACs. We believe that the answer to that question is yes. The defense arguing the state statute does not apply to super PACs. However, according to the Indiana Supreme Court, the term super PAC does not appear in state law. Donations to PACs must designate a candidate or a committee. The problem is that neither, n neither of these laws address super PACs. Law and attorney Jody Madeira uh, says uh, prior courts determined the Victory Fund had no standing since no one sought to prosecute the group under the current law, but the group argues that could change in the future. The Victory Fund's like, well, we're not going to trust just word. We want to get a, a legal determination. Madeira says the Indiana Supreme Court is expected to make a decision as to whether or not super PACs fall under the current law before the end of this year. Reporting in Indianapolis, Hannah Adamson, Fox 59 News. Hannah, thank you.